Hello, welcome, I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to manifest when you're having a bad day. What do you do? Like, what do you do when you're having a bad day? How do you manifest when you're having a bad day? What's, the, what's a good strategy to take on days like this? Before I jump in, please make sure you subscribe to my channel in the corner or below. And also know that I offer lots of self-study manifesting courses. Now there are 12 courses down there. I just launched my newest course, How to Be Missed, Contacted, and Pursued by your specific person. You can check that one out or the other ones below. And also know that I do a weekly giveaway and this giveaway is for a bundle of three eBooks that I wrote. The way to enter into the contest is to subscribe to my channel, to like this video and to comment below. I choose three winners every week on Fridays. Okay, so let's jump in. What do you do when you're having a bad day and what do you do about manifesting when you're having a bad day? So here's what I would recommend not doing first. I wouldn't recommend, and this is just my style, right? Like I'm always just talking about my style. If this works for you, that's great. And I support everything that you do that works for you, but this is just through my perspective and my own practices and you know my guidance. What I don't recommend is amping up trying to manifest that thing that you're really upset about not manifesting. For example, if you're manifesting a specific person and you're having a bad day, maybe it's about the specific person is why there's a bad day or you know maybe it's another reason. What I don't recommend is trying harder to manifest them on those days. And the reason is, is because when we're already contracted, we're constricted, we're not feeling good, we're, we're just not in a good state of being, trying to force ourselves to think the thing that we want to have happen, we hope, like hope it happens and we're trying to make sure it happens, doing that, typically causes more anxiety, more resistance, more contraction. It just like gridlocks the system even more because you're like forcing yourself, trying to make something happen that you're really just like not, you're not there right now. Now, this is just my opinion that when you're having a bad day like this, unless it works for you, if you do it and it works for you and you like amplify your manifesting process whatever it is while you're having a bad day if that works for you to uh, do that then do that but my advice is a couple of things first of all my advice is taking your attention off that thing that you really really want and you're feeling like you don't have it so diverting your attention completely to a different subject and I'm going to give you a number two what subject to divert it to but first I want to say I've had clients be concerned that they're not supposed to, this is like some sort of rule they learned somewhere, they're not supposed to leave their manifestation in a bad state. So if you're struggling to manifest your specific person and you're just like having a bad day about it, um, I've heard of people being scared to stop thinking about it because they feel like they didn't overturn it into a good place. And so that keeps them kind of stuck wrestling with it. Now, that's not my experience. I feel that diverting your attention, especially away from something that's bothering you and to something that feels good to you, is always going to cause you relief. It's always going to put you into a better mood, a better feeling state. It's just going to like loosen, loosen you up and lighten you up. And to me, that's always going to work in your favor. I don't feel like you have to wrap up this subject in a pretty bow before you move to a different subject, not at all. I actually feel like it's kind of a red alert. Like if you're trying to manifest something and it feels bad, like look at something, do something else for a little bit. And here's the second thing I wanted to say about this. A great thing to do when you're having a bad day, I wonder if you can guess, if you can guess, I'll give you, pause the video and you can put it down there. A great subject to turn to is yourself, self-love. Now, in particular on bad days, again, we don't wanna wrestle with self-love and like be like throwing affirmations at ourself that we that don't make us feel good or don't um, we don't believe. 
I'm not a very forceful person. So I don't, those types of techniques like don't really resonate for me. But self-love can be as simple as saying things like, you're okay. And I know you're having a bad day, but we're going to get through it. Or self-love can be as simple as, you know, I'm going to take myself on a walk in nature and just like relax. Or self-love can be like, I'm going to go take myself to get like an ice cream or whatever. If like you can feel okay about doing that, if it doesn't feel self-sabotaging, if it feels like kind of loving, like, honey, you deserve a treat. Let's just take a break and like, go, do, you know, go do that. Self-love can be super simple. It can be very general. It also doesn't, it doesn't have to be necessarily um, affirming particular things about yourself. It can just actually be kindness to yourself. And so if you notice you're having a bad day, I would say the absolute best thing to do in terms of manifesting anything you want, because it's always gonna, it's, the foundation is pretty much self-love. Like when you feel good, you feel worthy, you feel like you deserve all the love in all forms in your life, then that's what you're gonna create. So self-love is, is never, like it's, it's always gonna be a good go-to practice. And it can just be something as simple as, honey, I got your back. You know, you like saying that to yourself. You could also go into inner child work, but if you don't even want to go that deep, if you want to just be like, girl, let's take a break. <laughs> I mean, can you tell I talk to myself a lot? Like, cause I'm always uncovered like, girl, I call myself like, girl, honey, sweetie, I do. And you know, that's a way to, to be self-loving, just to be kind to yourself, to allow yourself to have a, have a break. Also to tell your th yourself things like, babe, we're not going to mess this up. Don't worry. You don't have to like, you're not going to mess up your manifestation. I'll like my video on how you can't man mess up your manifestation. So tell your things like that and just be kind and easy. And almost as if you're like, what if your best friend came to you and was having a bad day and was just kind of relying on you or wanted, you know, was like, you wanted to cheer her up or take her out or help her feel better. Treat yourself like that best friend and just go do something kind for yourself. Realize you can like let it go, whatever it is. You'll come back to it when you're feeling good. And I promise you, this is going to raise your your state of being. It's going to make you feel better. It's just going to make you feel cared for by yourself. It's going to make you feel lighter. And when you're in that state of being, then go back to manifesting the thing. Because that state of being, as we always know, is going to like, create the results that you really want. That state of being of like, well, of course I'm worthy and deserving. Of course, you know, just feeling like you're deserving, feeling like you're in a good mood, feeling like you're, you're an amazing person. All of these things are always going to help you manifest what you want. So this is my advice on what to do if you're having a bad day. Divert your attention. Do not look at the thing that you're trying to force yourself to manifest. Divert your attention to something else. You can also Netflix and chill. Like, that's cool too. You know, it's okay. It's okay for you to distract yourself. It's okay to like relax. It is okay. Honestly, I think it's good for the process because otherwise we can get super obsessive. And in my opinion, if that obsessiveness is constricting your energy, um, my experience is then it's not actually creating what you want we're creating with our state right so if you want your if you want to create something that feels good you got to feel good okay all right guys thank you so much for being here with me in this video i love being here with you please make sure you subscribe you like you comment below and i'll see you soon bye